Hello, boys and girls. The purpose of this lesson is to help us a little bit more with like terms. I want to share with you what test questions might look like. Alert, alert, what test questions might look like. They might look like when you're combining like terms. If you've understood the way we've been doing them, you should have no problem here. Allow me to show you how, what they do with test questions. I need you paying special attention. You will get questions like this. Take a look at them. You'll have sometimes up to six choices over here. And they will say, circle all that are true. And if you understand like terms, you'll see how they can be expressed differently and still be equal. So let's slowly go through. I have three problems written down, just three. So I need you paying attention, special attention. Is n minus six equal to six minus n? No. So just take a moment and, and say, pretend that n equal 12. Is 12 minus 6 equal to 6 minus 12? Of course not. So it's not true. If you understand like terms, you'll be able to identify them, no matter how they're represented. Take a look at this one. 4a to the third power. 4a to the third power. Is that the same as 4? times a times a times a? I think it is. Because notice, if you were to just look at the a's, a times a times a is that. That's a to the third. And it's being multiplied by four. So this is a true statement. So what you see here is they're all spread out on the right side and they combined like terms right there. So it's been combined. So you'd say, this one is true. Let's look at another one. 3n plus 12. Is that equal to this? There's three n's in a row plus 12. It looks to be correct, doesn't it? I think it's the same. 3n there's the three ends plus 12. So that one is true. Let's look at this one. A squared plus 4n. On the right side, here's your equal. On the right side, I have a times a, a times a, that's that. That's that, isn't it? That's a times a plus there's the plus, plus n times n times n times n. Do these n's equal that? No, they do not. This right here would be n plus n plus n plus n, right? Plus n. And this says times. So this is how like terms are presented on state tests. Let's look at another one. I need you paying attention. There's only three of them. Take a look at this one. Select all that are true. 3n, 3n. Is that three plus three plus three? Does that equal that? It does not. Clearly this right side equals nine. I don't see nine over there, so it's not A. How about this one? Three times three times three. Hmm, equals three N. No, because I know this over here on the left. This equals 27. Does that equal 27? I don't know, because I don't know what N equals. How about this one? N to the third n to the third, you should know by now, that means n times n 
times n. So that's true. How about this one? n plus n plus n, well, that's 3n, and there it is. Okay, pay attention. One more, last one. Again, ooh, this one has five choices. Oh boy, let's take a look. n to the second power, or n squared, does that equal two times two times n? No, because two times two is four times that is four n. So no, it doesn't equal that. How about this one? n plus, that's a plus, it's not a divide, n plus n equal n squared? No, this over here on the left would equal two n, not n squared. How about this one? n times n, does that equal that? It sure does. This is n squared or n to the second. So it's that one. Any more? How about this one? n squared plus n, does that equal 3n? It does not, because these are not like terms and they cannot be combined. How about this one? 2n equals n plus n. Yes, here's 2n here on the right that can be combined, and there it is right there. I want you to watch this video again. I needed you paying attention. Hint, hint, hint. These questions, questions just like this, appear on the state test. They may also appear on Illuminate. Okay, see you in the classroom. Send me any questions that you might have.